Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are y'all doing today? Today I'm doing a little something that's a little... I don't want to say it's unusual, but it is something that I actually like to do. I, obviously, I like to lift, but I also like technology as well. So I'm going to do an unboxing for the first time. So let's see how that goes, guys. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. I don't know if I... It's weird. I, re I can't really call it an unboxing because I unboxed it yesterday when I got it. But we're going to make it look like it's an unboxing for y'all anyway. So let's get it. So right here. We have the 12 Pro, the gold version, the boxes from this year and last year, just ridiculous, like in size-wise comparisons. Like This is my 11 Pro Max box from last year. And yeah, y'all see it. File that crap to the side, though. All right, let's open it up. That looks nice. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful gold this year. In previous years, like the gold was, it was nice, but it wasn't this nice right here. Yeah. That down, box, your stickers, nothing fancy, USB. There's no power brick in there this year, but you know, for some people that might, it might suck because they, might be their first time coming to an iPhone and actually getting one. So, you know, not to have the brick in there would, you know, would be bad for them. They would have to probably, you know, go out and spend a little bit more money for the power brick. But if you're coming from another Apple device, you should already have a power brick. The only problem is, is if you didn't get like 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, you don't have the fast charger. So you still have that 5 watt, small, itty bitty one, you know, but... So whatever. But yeah, this is a USB-C to lightning cable. Uh, I'm not going to open it up because I already have one previously from my 11. But yeah, so I'll just put this to the side. Put this top back on. Nah, it's over there. All right, let's power it up. Let's take this off. Okay. <laughs> now, like I said, I already had opened it up. I already had set it up and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's me, my beautiful babies. All right, let me hold on. Let me let me open it up real quick for y'all one time. All right, so let's open it up. It's, you know, it's, it's usually like, how would you say? It's like pretty much your usual Apple type style. You know, it does seem a little, to me, it seems a little bit faster. You know, you're rocking that um, A14 Bionic chip. I have the 128 gig one. So I'm going to go here, here, here. Look, see, my people's. Getting messages in. But yeah. So I got the 128 gig. And previously, and like older, you know, I, this year iPhone also has the MagSafe, which is pretty much it's like a circle ring that's in the back. Like it's a magnet in the back. I don't have the Mag Charger or a Mag case because uh, silicone cases from Apple. Even though they are one of my favorites, I just didn't pick one up this year. And the MagSafe charger, I don't know if that's fast enough for me. Like, I like to use my power bricks that are fast. Like, I like to be able to charge my phone pretty much instant. Like, I, I don't want to put it on there and it takes a little while longer than usual, you know. If your phone is dying and you got 30 minutes before you leave the house, you want to be able to, you know, hook it up real quick, get a quick charge. And get in and get out. <clears throat> now, one of the biggest things with this one this year was the 5G for this phone. 
So, boom, we go back, back. We're going to do this. We're going to turn that Wi-Fi off. And it's on 5G. Now, I have Verizon. So, I'm supposed to have, like, the ultra wide band, but I don't. So, right now, it's just sitting, it's sitting at, like, regular 5G, I guess. Like, at sub-6 uh, for right now. But let's see. Let's we go on speed test. We're going to see what some of these numbers is hitting up for this. Let's press go. And where I'm at currently, I'm in the Bronx. It's not Yonkers. I'm in the Bronx. But, um, yeah, this is 5G speed right here. So it's 31 download. And it's the upload that kills right now. Like, look at this upload, you know. And this is supposed to be 5G. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do this again. But we'll do this time is here. Go back. I'm going to go to cellular. And then you have the option on whether or not you want to, um, like, keep the 4G on or keep it off. Not 4G, sorry. The 5G on or off. So, there it goes right there. So, voice and data, 5G auto. So, you can do 5G or you can do LTE. So, what we'll do is we'll bump it back to LTE. Jump back out. And then we'll hit these numbers again. So remember, this is 5G right here. So boom. We'll bump back out. We're on LTE right now. Let's see what LTE hitting for. I mean, so yeah, you can see it. You can see it for yourself. So, five G is faster, but it's not by like that much. If you look at it, it's not really by too much. So, is five G a big deal? Not right now. I, I would say it depends on like what carrier you have and like where you're at. Because I have Verizon, so if I'm in ultra ultra wideband area, I know the speeds is gonna be crazy. So I will test that later on. I'm gonna go down to the city. I know they have the towers down there in the city. So I'm gonna try it in the city and I'm gonna see what it's hitting for. Uh, where I'm at right now in the Bronx, it's it's not okay. Well, my upload is not okay. My download is fine, but my upload, that's not looking, that's not hitting. So that's not something I would like to see, especially with 5G. And if you're gonna pay extra and you're gonna have a 5G phone, you know, you would think it would be a little bit more faster than LTE which it isn't, but on the bright side, at least 5G is for the future. So that can help, you know, that'll help. I'm pretty sure once more, more and more 5G towers come out, then we'll have, we'll have, we'll have something. Else. This year iPhone also has the MagSafe, which is pretty much, it's like a circle ring that's in the back. Like it's a magnet in the back. I don't have the mag charger or a mag case because uh, silicone cases from Apple, even though they are one of my favorites, I just didn't pick one up this year. And the MagSafe charger, I don't know if that's fast enough for me. Like, I like to use my power bricks that are fast. Like, I like to be able to charge my phone pretty much instant. Like, I, I don't want to put it on there and it takes a little while longer than usual, you know. If your phone is dying and you got 30 minutes before you leave the house, you want to be able to you know, hook it up real quick, get a quick charge, and get in and get out. <clears throat> so, that. now, as beautiful as this phone may be right here, this phone is beautiful right here. I'm a person, I usually rock my phones with no case. Or if I do have a case, it's probably the most, it's the thinnest case possible. Usually, I'm a no case kind of person. The only thing that I would fear on this phone would be messing up my sides. Same thing for like the screen as well. 
But yeah, so what I did this year, basically, I don't know, because this year I was like a little hesitant, so I didn't want to, so I went out, actually got me a case this year. So, and this is actually one of the favorite companies I actually love to use right here, Spigen or Spigen, however they want to pronounce it. This is actually one of, one of my favorite companies to use a case from. I have a lot of their cases for previous iPhones as well. But this one is the new, the, obviously the 2020 6.1. And this will also fit on your 12 as well. So the 12 and the 12 Pro, same dimensions. So they can use the same exact cases. There's nothing different, you know. So let's see how this one, let's see how this one looks. It's thin fit. All over here, usual. See, and this is what I like, minimum cases. Because I'm the kind of person, whenever I buy a phone, I buy it for the aesthetics of how it looks and stuff like, you know, some people, they buy the phone and they'll throw a case on immediately. Me, usually, I don't throw a case on because I like this, I like how the phone feels in the end. And I buy the phone not only for the software, but for the aesthetics look so. But this year, I did get a case right off the bat. So let's throw that in there. Let's see how this fits. See? So with this case, it gives me minimum... You know, it, it is, I'm going to say it's minimum protection, but it's thin. It's a thin fit. This is what I like. If I'm going to have a case, I like the thin cases. I don't like big cases. I don't like them, you know, out of boxes or anything too big. Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm digging this. It gives it, you know, it gives it that height. But it also, it has the, as you see right here, like it's a little raised up. So, like, if I put it on here. And if I put it on the table, it's not going to move. It's not moving. It's not moving. not moving. So, you know, that's a good thing. So it does give me that little protection. The same thing around the camera as well. As the camera cut out, I have that, as you can 